With the release of the first beta of iOS 17, Apple has made a huge change. They have made the dev beta free and available for everyone to install on their device. That is actually a very interesting move, but with that, of course, there will be consequences. A lot of people will have a beta software installed on their device, and especially a big release like iOS 17, which will have a huge impact on the daily devices of so many users. And one of those bad impacts will be battery life. Even though I have used this software on my main device here for 10 days now, and I'm actually really, really surprised with the battery life that I got with iOS 17. But of course, nothing will be the same for every user. So a lot of users on iOS 17 are experiencing huge battery drains. But what can you do to actually fix that? Well, the first thing I would do is of course, take a look at the new features of iOS 17 and try to use as less of them as possible in order to get a better battery life. So in this video, I will show you guys a few tips and tricks that will help you fix the battery drain issue on your iOS 17 device. As I said, the first thing you should do is take a look at which of the new features you're using every day. And one of them would be a pretty cool one called motion wallpapers, which Apple has added to the new lock screen on iOS 17. Well, it's something like live wallpapers, but this will actually work all the time and not just when you tap and hold your screen. But every time you wake up the screen of your device, you will get this motion on your wallpaper that is created from the live wallpaper from the live photos that you have taken with your camera. What I would do is turn this feature off. This will consume battery every time you wake up the device and you get that cool motion on the wallpaper. The next one is also a new feature that Apple has added to screen time. So with screen time on iOS 17, your device will be able to detect when you have your iPhone very close to your face and will tell it to actually keep distance from the screen of your phone. That feature can be found here under settings screen time when you have screen distance. Now, of course, it's a good feature to have. It will probably have a big impact on protecting your eyes. It's really great and you should never just keep your iPhone very close to your eyes. But of course, it is working all the time in the background, all the time scanning your face, seeing how close you are to your iPhone. That way, of course, it consumes battery. So make sure you have this off for the time being as well. Now, another thing that Apple has done with iOS 17 is that they have improved a lot on the spotlight search. Searching on the spotlight has never been better. You can do a lot more on the spotlight search. It's a really great update. But what I would do is try to just remove a few of the apps you have on your device from spotlight search. So maybe there are apps like games and things like that you don't need. So when you want to do a search on the spotlight, you don't want to have all those results from all kinds of different things and different apps. So make sure you go here and you will have here a list of the apps. So what you can do is go ahead and just turn off these apps, learn from this app, show in search, show content in search. So you make the work of spotlight so much lighter. Now, another new feature on iOS 17 is the new Siri feature. We don't have to mention the Hey word at all. You just say Siri to invoke Siri on your device. Now, what you can do here is choose between those. So whether you want to use just one of them or both of them or just the old one or what's the best, turn them off completely. Having these turned on in the background, especially just the word Siri, will consume a lot of battery. Because you can see while I'm talking here, even though I have those turned on, it won't actually invoke Siri because it's listening to you and it knows that you're talking about something and you're just measuring Siri. That's why it won't actually launch it. Siri. So if I say just like that, of course it will launch it. But while you're talking, it won't launch Siri because it's listening to you and it knows that you're saying something else. That's really cool, but of course it consumes a ton of battery. Another new feature on iOS 17, allowing Siri when your device is locked. That is pretty cool. You can use Siri without having to actually reach for your phone and unlock it. But again, you will have to use the same words and having your device listening to you, even though when it's locked, it will actually consume a ton of battery. So that way, the best thing is, of course, to keep this off. Now, I'm not saying you should keep these things off forever, but for now, until a few more betas come out, and of course, iOS 17 gets a bit better, a bit more polished, so we get better battery life, make sure you have these turned off for this time. 
And now let's move on to some more like general tips and tricks that you can use that of course can be used on older iOS versions as well. Now, first of all is apps. So the apps is used on daily basis will basically determine the huge part of how much battery you get out of your device. You will see the apps that actually consume a ton of battery. So not that all apps are built the same, some will just consume a ton of battery. So when you go to the battery section right here, you will see a list of apps that have used most of the battery on your device. So if you see an app that you use more frequently, of course it will be at the top. But if you see here apps that you very rarely use and they consume a ton of battery, I suggest you go ahead and delete that app and replace it with a similar app. If you're using live activities on your device, make sure that you don't enable more frequent updates. Like this one right here under the TV app. If we go here and go to live activities, you can see that we have the option to use more frequent updates and it will also state here that it can drain the battery of your iPhone faster. So if you have a few of these apps and you're using frequent updates for your live activities, just know that your device will go out of battery pretty soon. Now, one thing that I have actually tried and I have experienced last weekend is using Seller over Wi-Fi for a long period of time, especially on iOS 17. It did actually have a huge impact on how much battery I got out of my device. So my suggestion is turn off Seller data when you don't need it. Whenever you're in a place that you can connect your device to a Wi-Fi connection, make sure you do that because turning on your seller data, even though you might have an unlimited plan, you don't care about it, but keeping it on all the time will consume way more battery than being connected to a Wi-Fi network. The next one will be the analytics and data that you share from your device. And those can be found under privacy and security. You scroll all the way down and you will have here analytics and improvements. So basically all these analytics that you have turned on will be collected from your device and will be shared with Apple. And that of course takes battery. It takes CPU power. That way, of course, it consumes battery as well. So it's not that important that you keep this on. So make sure you have these turned off here and here. And of course, all these other ones right here. That way you will get more battery out of your iPhone. Now, of course, one of the biggest factors when it comes to battery life is how you use your location services. Most of the time I will get great battery out of my device because I keep location services completely turned off. I will only turn them on when I need them. So you might want to do that or if you don't want to do that, at least go ahead and check the list of the apps that are using your location. Because if you're opening apps all the time and they're using your location, that will consume a ton of battery out of your device. Another thing you should take a look here is share my location. This is also very, very important. So if you go to share my location, you will see here the persons you're sharing your location with. So anytime they're checking your location, that actually just activates your location services and that consumes a ton of battery out of your iPhone. So maybe you want to keep one or two or maybe none, but don't keep a lot of people here because that will just drain the battery out of your iPhone. Another one will be, of course, significant locations. Now, this is a really interesting feature that will just keep a track of the locations that you go more frequently to, you visit more frequently or stay more. That will be a list right here, of course, if you have it turned on. Now, all this requires, again, location services. Again, it requires battery. And again, your battery will be drained really, really fast. So make sure you turn this off. You don't actually need a list of places you visit more. You probably already know them. So make sure you just turn this off so you don't have any record here because your iPhone might even fall into the wrong hand. So you don't want to do that. If you have any, you don't want to see them. You can actually clear the history from here so you have no record at all and you turn off significant locations from here. Really, really important, especially if you have a ton of apps installed on your device are notifications, the way you manage notifications on your device. Notifications will also consume a ton of battery. Now with iOS 16, Apple has added this scheduled summary feature, which is actually really great. So there are a ton of apps that you don't actually need to have notifications right away from immediately. You don't need those. You just put them on the scheduled summary. So you get them maybe once or twice a day. And that's really good. So you go ahead and 
just add your schedules here and of course enable the apps you want. Otherwise, take a look at the list here. There are apps that you might not need notifications from. Just go ahead and completely turn them off. Another thing will be vibration. The vibrating motor will also consume battery on your iPhone. So go ahead, go to sounds and haptics, scroll all the way down and you will have here play haptics in ring mode and play haptics in silent mode. So you turn on this so you don't want to miss any color or something like that. So when your device is on silent, it will actually vibrate. But you don't need haptics when your iPhone is on ring. That way, turn that off and it will save a bit of battery on your iPhone. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, these are some tips and tricks that will help you fix the battery drain issue on your iOS 17 device. Again, don't forget to update the beta 2, it should be much better once it comes out next week. And that's it for this video, leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I will see you on the next one.